Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Flint Hill Goods Roof Cargo Basket. This opens up some space to carry around cargo of different shapes and sizes. It's an entry level affordable roof cargo basket, but that doesn't mean it doesn't get the job done. It's definitely a solid basket worth considering and we'll take a look at some of its features as well as how to install it and what is it like living with a basket. So you already know you need a cargo basket as a strong solid base to carry around your cargo. But what else do you need to keep in mind? Well there's other things like clamps and straps and how to use it. So let's start at the very beginning. We'll take it inside our studio where we start installing it on the car. So this is what it's going to be like when you get your roof cargo basket. This weighs about 25 pounds so it's not too heavy. I, before I put the clamps and stuff, I just get it onto our crossbars and just kind of get it into place. Notice where my crossbars are sitting. I can't move my crossbars because they're on a naked roof, so they have a fixed crossbar spread of 30 inches apart. So we're kind of maxed out on our carrier. Depending on your crossbars, you can move this back and forth to get it wherever you want it to go. And then you're going to have to find an open spot and then place these spacers underneath the basket. You can put this wherever you want on your crossbars too. So some people like it centered, so easy access on both sides. Some people like it off-centered, maybe more towards the passenger side, just because it might be easier to get something there and you can put another accessory on the driver's side. So with that though, you do have to remember that the clamps need to have clearance. So you just can't put them right on top of your towers. And now we're gonna clamp down our basket. So we have these two parts. You have your U-bolt. This is rubberized on the bottom since it makes contact with your crossbars. And then you have this bracket that goes on top. So this will fit onto your spacer. Bring the U-bolt in from underneath. Then grab your wing nuts. So these have that flower shape and then you also have a rubber padding on top. This will go over that U-bolt and tighten down. There's gonna be a lot of thread you have to go through. With just one of those clamps, we already have a very solid fit. Now go ahead and do all the other three. So I didn't really have to put that much force into tightening down those clamps because of how they're designed. We have a super solid fit on our crossbars. Yes, the thread could be a little annoying to tighten down on, but that's because if you want to use these with extra thick bars, they'll still be able to fit on them. Now we're ready to load up our basket and there's some features on the inside that are worth considering when you got cargo on there. Notice how we have these rubber heads on our clamps and you might wonder what they're for. Well, if you had just a bolt sticking up, your cargo would scratch on it. But since we have those rubber spacers, even with our cargo rolling around or sliding around, we're not snagging it. And how much cargo can you put in here? So we do have inside dimensions, which are a little different than our outside dimensions. I measure from one bar to another. So for width, we have a width of 34 and a quarter inches. And then for length, we have this front and rear bar. And that's gonna have it at 38 and a half inches of length. Now overall, it's gonna be 46 by 36 inches rounded up. And that's gonna be how much space it takes up inside of your garage, in your shed, things like that. Now we do have a weight capacity of 165 pounds, but note, with that weight capacity, you still have to be mindful of your crossbar or your roof weight capacity. For example, my crossbars, they have a capacity of 165. So add the weight of your basket and then add the weight of your cargo so you don't exceed your vehicle capacity. When loading up your basket, please make sure everything is strapped down properly. I recommend using a minimum of two straps for your cargo. Now, any part of the basket can be used as an anchor point. So if it's easier for you to get your cargo in from the bottom or the top loop, 
or use any of these rails, you can do so. In fact, in the front, we have an opening there for your larger hooks or buckles. Now for straps to tie things down, not included with the basket, but you can get them added here at eTrailer. We have a bunch of different options for you. You can get a set of ratchet straps if you want. I think it might be overkill for things that go in your cargo basket. So I personally use the trailer cam buckle straps, but whichever one you want to use, if you're using your own, note that the side tubes are an inch in diameter. So that's something to consider for your hooks. Some tips and tricks I've learned from using a roof cargo basket, I like to just make sure there's nothing hanging down underneath the basket. Very common with bags with buckles and straps on themselves. Try to buckle those up so that way they're not hanging down and hitting your roof. For the straps used to tie the cargo down, if you have anything excess and it's short, I actually just use the basket itself to secure. If we've got long excess straps, I actually secure it in my door. That way I know everything is still on there. I can tighten it down from the inside and this is not flapping back in the wind. So you saw the basket, you saw how to install it, you saw how to load up your cargo basket, how to strap the cargo down. Now let's take it outside and see how it performs on our test course. Going down the highway, we're going about 60 miles per hour. I do feel a little bit of wind drag. Um, no significant wind noise though. As long as your straps are tightened down properly, you shouldn't hear anything hitting against your roof. So it's pretty solid. I do like that there is no whistling sounds and everything's still in place. So you do have a spoiler on your basket, which helps with that whistle, which helps with that wind drag. This is surprising in its design because there's not really any logos on it. And that could be a good thing too, because then you can put your own stickers on there and make it yours. This spoiler is also removable if you just remove those screws. Even though it's affordable, even though it's an entry level basket, it still does a great job and it definitely matches in performance other baskets that might be a little bit pricier. I really like the way those clamps are covered. You don't have to need use any tools. You're not scratching up your cargo. You have that space for putting things into your basket and strapping things down using the basket. It is made of steel, but it does weigh only about 25 pounds, so it's really easy to store and put onto the roof. So definitely make sure you have enough straps and you strap things down properly. But other than that, a solid choice for increasing the capacity and putting things onto the roof of your vehicle.